But now it's time for the real main event. Yeah, I know y'all love it. Let's make some noise. Let me know if y'all want to hear some battle. See some bloodshed. See somebody just get crying on the stage. That'd be awesome if someone cried on stage. I mean, it would be awesome. I mean, I comfort them the next day and shit, but today would be awesome if they cry. We just laugh like, ha ha, you're crying. Ha ha. Like on some sixth grade bully shit. That'd be great. Y'all ready for some battle? Just say battle. Nudie, you all right, man? You need a cut, man? Nudie, you, you, you good? You good? Okay. Where's, where's Mark? Where's Mark? Oh, yeah. oh, okay. oh, my bad. D-Nice, what up, man? All right. Um, well, we're waiting for the other battler because he's probably like Eminem on 8 Mile looking at the bathroom mirror, throwing up on his mom's spaghetti. <laughs> but uh, I can actually bring up the first comic that is going to battle. You already seen him on his stand-up, calling his wife a bitch and shit. Hopefully he does the same thing to Mark. That'd be awesome. Give it up, oh, there he is. Give it up for Mr. Nudy Puente. Yeah, he's clapping. Yeah, he knows. Bueno. <laughs> oh, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that was enough. Save the microphone for later, motherfucker. All right. All right, the next guy, he wrote out his introduction, so I'm going to try to memorize this shit. Can we not talk about that right now? I've had that all day. <laughs> Can I get a, a chair and a Budweiser bottle, please? Thank you. He always does shit like this all the time. I'm thirsty and tired. <laughs> Saturday night. Are you, are you done? Are you going to save that? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Right. Okay. Now, before we begin, I'm going to introduce the judges. Okay, the first guy, you already seen him on stand-up from Detroit. Give it up for Avery Hutto. <laughs> will decide the winner. Simple as that. It's that simple. Now, 
Okay, can I can I decide first before the bell rings? Thank you. Okay, you're already see even Dodie's ready for the battle. Start now. Okay, which one y'all gonna go first? If y'all decide, I'm gonna pick. Okay, okay. Okay, bet. Ohio for life. Go ahead. All right, man. Um, yeah, I got stuck in the court. Make sure everything working good. Okay. You look like a comic book character that nobody reads. Yeah. It's like SpongeBob, Ray Voldemort. But I'm sure you were born in some type of rape situation. Hey, somebody's doing all the raping. Alright, real quick, I just want to let everybody know, please stick around after the show tonight. We are going to have some free Mexican food for everybody in appreciation of you coming out. Yeah, we're going to have carnitas as soon as I'm done roasting this pig. He likes meat in his mouth. Give it up for him. Probably pretty tasty. How come every time I think every website you go to has a PSA about about killing yourself and has the suicide number at the bottom? Right? Maybe? Does it look that way? The saddest part is that no one laughed, but it is true. <laughs> I was, uh... I was, uh, I gotta admit, I was a little hesitant to battle Nune because I was taught to respect my elders. And, uh, he looks like my dad. So I'm also a little worried that he's not gonna understand my jokes. Because most Mexicans don't get sunburns. <laughs> I feel like I, you had like two moms, not a dad at all. Um, Mark Rowland here. That's a, that's a strong ass name, is it not? Mark Rowland? For little man child he is. But uh, like the only mainly thing about him is the dicks he always has in his hands. Yeah, you handle more dicks than uh, Fort Wayne uh, Police Department does. Uh, like Nune said, him and his, uh, Nune and his wife have four children together, and, uh, I think it's really sweet that they decided to have as many children as they have chins. Mark Rowland here is the Chris Cornell of comedy. Yeah, he's the Chris Cornell of comedy, keeps everybody hanging around. And saying why? <laughs> Build that wall! Build that wall! <laughs> I, I thought we were on four. Yeah, it's four. I got two more or one more? One more. Well, you got two. Two more or one more? Alright. Either way. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I, I was uh, I was under the assumption that Nune and his wife were actually having a fifth child. Turns out they don't have a bun in the oven. He's just got a muffin top. Oh, damn. This was, yeah, this guy was hitting on me at the beginning of the show. So, but uh, no. Uh, Wait. Let me see here. Let me get let me get to my job. Hold on. Here. Okay, collect yourself. <laughs> yeah, I gotta collect myself. That was a good one. Um, why do I feel like you lost your virginity to Nine Inch Nails? Yeah, to like a, to like a Boy Scouts of America troop leader, Scout Honor, Scout Honor. It was actually because your mom had finger, uh, nails like Flojo. I felt like that was four, because I, I had five in the barrel. I felt all right, well, if you guys haven't uh, seen Nune's comedy, his, his regular comedy set, uh, you should check it out. But if, if you don't get a chance, I'll try to describe it to you. It's, uh, it's like half George Lopez impression, half Carlos Mencia, if he didn't steal good material. <laughs> I should have went out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know, actually, Mark's, Mark's half Mexican, half white. Is that correct? 
Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's why nobody in the white community or the Mexican community is accepting him. <laughs> Build that wall. Build that wall. <laughs>
Penguin from Batman if he was a sex offender. <laughs> Oh, I did. 
Because that was ready to go. Alright, hey. He's determined, he's focused, son. He don't even give a fuck about an introduction. Alright, the next guy, also from Cleveland, Beta. Ryan, Ryan DePerna. Yeah! Ryan DePerna. Okay, there you are. Give it up for the Cleveland gentleman, Ryan. 
Chris Paul. That was some raw shit. Hey, before I start, hey, uh, those who are talking, please shut the hell up. It's just simple. I mean, y'all had all day to talk to each other and shit. Y'all got outside all these balconies and shit. Y'all got plenty of time to talk, but we got a comedy show. We're trying to make you laugh. We're trying to. It's, it, it's something simple. That's all I ask. I'm not even angry. I'm just like confused as to why people are talking when they had all day to talk to each other. That's the kicker. Text, social media, Twitter, Facebook, and they're still motherfucking talking. Unbelievable. But you know what? I'm gonna keep going. Sam, go ahead. Tell me what you think about the, the battle. I, I don't know what to thank you with these kids. They stepped on stage, they got it. You know, ever when you got up there, but you know, I, I don't follow a lot of football, but besides in Cleveland, their football sucking, these guys suck at Roseburg. Wow. 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 That's Do you have anything to add about diabetes? Damn.
playground because you definitely fit the profile of someone who's very well acquainted with disposing of blood and semen covered little league shirts. They're jokes, not books. <laughs> Carrie has never done a roast battle, but she has battled for roasts. <laughs> I heard that you fucked Haley Joel Osmond's mom at one point, whether that's true or not. Which, uh, obviously that was a kindness to him because finally he is not the most forgettable dude that's ever been inside her. Carrie <laughs> <laughs> spells her name with an I because she will forever be alone.
they probably bought your album too. So. <laughs> Give it up for Carrie Pooley, Indy! <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, we got two battles left. Two battles left. Alright, everybody ready for the next one? Make some noise.
It's true, she can't. She gets very depressed. Uh, Tabitha is like the Rio de Janeiro Olympics. She's dirty and no one gives a shit about her. <laughs> we got like 30 more. So. I know we got the guy got phones open and shit. Hey, give me Yes, me too. Yes. 
I'll do paper, rock, scissors. Okay. <laughs> Wait, no, I don't have. Okay, go ahead. Paper, rock, scissors. Play. Wait. I don't get it. Uh, yeah. Okay. Ready, y'all? Battle! Battle! Let's go! Battle! Um, I don't know why I'm here doing this roast battle since Alex Trebek roasted the fuck out of you on Jeopardy. At least I was on Jeopardy.
but she can't roast me in any of them. I would, but they didn't teach you the other four at MIT, so you wouldn't get it. Give it up for the two ladies who love each other very much. But that was awesome. Yeah. 